turn in a gun and get a gift card, no questions asked. That's the message behind the annual gun buyback event, Kicks for Guns. Once again, several local law enforcement agencies teaming up for the effort that started in Central Florida more than 20 years ago. New 6's Mark Lehman shows us how it's getting unwanted guns off the streets. After things were put on hold the past couple of years, Kicks for Guns returned throughout Central Florida today. All of this part of a continued effort to keep unwanted guns off the street. I think it's going to be 30 cal. Deputies carefully tallying firearms as they were brought in. Law enforcement taking part in Kicks for Guns, the event allowing people to turn in unwanted guns at 10 locations. In exchange, they get a $50 gift card. It's just a way for us to try to clean up the county a little bit. The annual program has been running throughout Central Florida for more than 20 years, but this is the first time it's returned since the pandemic. We haven't done this for a couple of years, and every time we do, we end up getting a decent number of guns off the streets. Some of those guns turning out to be illegal, like the first one dropped off at this location on Orange Blossom Trail. This is a 22 rifle, which actually is an illegal gun because they cut the stock down on it. The goal, keeping guns out of the hands of people that shouldn't have them. Since the program began, more than 10,000 firearms have been collected. Those reported stolen returned to their owners and the others destroyed. All of this happening anonymously with no questions asked. We don't take any names. We don't record license plates. People pull up, we take the guns, swap them a card, and they leave. Many locations will be accepting unwanted guns through the afternoon. This spot, for instance, is open until 6 this evening. We posted a list of all the places where the event is being held under this story on ClickOrlando.com. In Orlando, Mark Lehman, getting results, News 6.